expectation in this workshop on uh, linking and learning is to network as a voice family to learn from the rest and share experiences to get the skills that will enable me to uh, communicate with the other women, grassroots women whom I, I'm working with and also the youth. I am a team leader at Northern Nomadic Civil Persons Organization, NONDO. We advocate for the rights, inclusion and participation of persons with disabilities from nomadic and pastoralist communities. Persons with disabilities from pastoralist communities have been left behind uh, for a long time. They have been marginalized. They are on the margins of the margins. I want to amplify their voices. I want them to be represented equally. You will say what you um, and then they will determine whether it's correct or not. If they say it's no, you no sitting. Okay. Um, my word is sexism, prejudice or discrimination based on a person's sex or gender. Sexist attitudes may stem from traditional stereotypes of gender roles and may include the belief that a person of one sex is naturally superior to a person of another. I hope you take that opportunity to really know each one of us that is present in this room and how we can learn, co-create and create storms, beautiful storms together and solutions. <laughs> Voice is an inclusive and innovative grant facility that dreams of empowered rights holders demanding and fighting for their rights. Aside from grant making, we also use the linking and learning process, which is why we are here today. Over the next three days, we envision more collaborations between the partners in Kenya and having understood our biases, our powers and our responsibilities as we implement in our different projects. I would like you to describe what leadership is as if you're explaining it to a five-year-old. But we go, we go, we go, we go. Alini Malaysia sausage, water, jackula. Follow the leader, leader, leader. Follow the leader. To the other side. Follow the leader. To the other side. Yeah. Thank you. Leadership is by influence, and the position that I'm here. There's someone who can draw as a train. Does a train look like this? <laughs> okay. I want to draw my train. Then you'll tell me which one is a train. Right? <laughs> okay. A leader or leadership is like the movement of a train. A train is moving to a destination. A train is normally having the engine, uh, uh, the engine which is always uh, drawing the wagons towards it and leading it into a destination. Falme Productions is a 2D animation production studio that deals with production of animations focusing on uh, social issues that affect the general population. We give life to cartoons. Alex does the drawing and he can also do the animation. The most popular one you know is Makarao. We choose to share our story of the bad behavior via the animation so that you know in animation you cannot necessarily pinpoint. It's our safe space to express our dis gratitude and discomfort with the general uh, behaviors that perhaps may have been normalized by the society. <laughs> Came to appreciate the work effort sweat that goes into creative production. Synergy collaboration is very, very important for their work to be produced, and I believe the same goes to every other organization we work with. We are 
uh, the first organization, uh, disabled persons organization that advocate for the rights, inclusion, and participation of persons with disabilities from especially northern Kenya and other ASAL counties. We focus in four areas education, governance, social economic empowerment, and health. Fatma and Tim, they're really doing a good job. Use of beauty to communicate the challenges, but also celebrate how far they've come. Let's let's support the desert wilderness. It's it's a cross-cutting thing, disability. Please, let's try and see if, how, how they can come and participate. We are trying to revive the culture of the people and use other ways of teaching the language and preserving the culture and the traditional ecological knowledge of the Yaku people. And we are still lobbying because there's a lot of bureaucracy in the government before our people have been given you know, the status of being a tribe, a Kenyan tribe. There is a lot of storytelling and there is a lot of uh, you know, linking and learning events where you learn from other people. Like I remember uh, we were in Zanzibar, the last linking and learning, and I was able to meet someone who was a Yaku. If you want to say hello in Yaku, you say eche. You respond by saying eow. If you want to say, how are you feeling? You say, ekonkwen ekan. You respond by saying, ehino. If you want to say bye bye, you say, hesayo. And if you want to say, I love you, you say, ishetan. I've learned a lot here. I've been strengthened. Yes, sometimes there are struggles. I can get back to my community more motivated. Uh, the first time they came we were young babies. Uh, we were trying to figure out the organization, we were trying to figure out how do we translate what we are thinking, our dreams, our ideas into action and Voice was very patient with us and the one thing that I keep saying is Voice believed in a dream that not so many donors will believe in. That's the dream of using storytelling to tell our stories of politics. It's the second time we've grown, we are better. <laughs> Day two has been quite awesome. I have really learned a lot from the outdoor activity that we did. Other organizations use animation to influence issues of youth. The whole invitation process was so amazing because we've been doing linking and learning virtually of course because of all the dynamics of COVID and um, having like taking part in the annual Kenyan event was amazing. At the end of these three days, we at Voice hope for grantees understanding more of each other's works and appreciation of everything that we bring to the table collectively and also a collaborative spirit so that more engagements between the partners occur. We work with deaf persons. We are more biased towards deaf persons, but we are inclusive to other disabilities. How we do it? Uh, our mission mainly is to mainstream deaf and disability rights in development and ensuring that whatever is going on, whatever you're doing as an organization, as much as possible, you're inclusive to persons with disability. Women leadership is smart leadership and we are going to produce a 13 episode series of a Turkana girl who eventually becomes the first female president of Kenya. We are persons with disability meaningfully participate in activities of the society on an equal basis. I've learned quite a lot. Important things which have made me happy and so much happy. I've loved this lady Thank you. and also Dorina. <laughs> yes. You know, like all these conversations we are having, with good leadership we will be able to just break it down to everyone, even the lowest level, even Uko Mashinani. One thing I would love us to remember always is that there is nothing about us without us. There are no spaces that you can say are complete without people and human beings in all their diversities being there. So keep challenging your biases, keep challenging what you know, keep challenging everything everything and that's the only way you'll ever get to a place where you have everyone on board nothing about us without us my voice at the table not on the menu you got served <laughs>